good morning. We're headed out this morning to the blind, and uh, we're in uh, Joe and Spikes. If you've been following our season this year, you know that I finished up a job overseas, and it just so happened that I got back in time for doe and spike season but the problem is i'm tagged out i've already shot five deer uh, in edwards county so i'm done but uh, there's always a chance of exotics and so i was itching just to get out in the blind and see if i could see some exotics but that morning i saw nothing but birds and a few little sw small squirrels but other than that i didn't see much and then about 9 30 9 20 actually i got out of the blind and went back to the cabin and some doe showed up and uh, so I filmed these doe from the cabin but uh, other than that didn't have much action that morning the action heated up though in the evening the message of the holy scriptures is absurd and the life of the messiah is meaningless unless we believe that he walked perfection and that he died for my substitution that his resurrection is no illusion Alright, it's later in the season, so uh, hopefully something will come in tonight. Exotic elk. <laughs> Bad chance of shooting an elk, but there are elk around here. It's going to have to be a 5x5 five five or bigger. Um, and the exotic, I've got my rifle here as well as my trusty bow. My PSE DNA. So hopefully we'll get something down. If it, if uh, if the deer settle pretty good, I'll probably take a shot with my um, bow. And um, if uh, if not, I'll take a shot with the rifle if I can't get the deer settled enough. But so stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, we get something down tonight. It wasn't 15 minutes when this axis deer showed up, and so I was gonna try a shot with my bow. Now some have mistaken in the past in my videos this as being a baby white-tailed deer with spots on it. That is not true. Axis deer hold their spots all the way into adulthood. These are exotic deer that are running free range in Texas. And so they're actually very difficult to get. They compete directly with the uh, white-tail for habitat. And so we want to keep their numbers in check because we manage for the white-tail actually. Now you notice whenever I take a shot at this deer, notice what I'm propping my arm up on. This is a uh, Primo shooting stick, one of those handheld shooting sticks. And it's the same principle as shooting a rifle at long range. If you can get a steady aim and get your arm steady, you'll shoot much better at longer distances. yards I can't believe it 82 yards man I think he's hit hard oh my goodness I cannot believe it all right, guys, we're headed down. Check out the arrow here. Got my rifle with me. It looks like it. Uh, that shot was a little bit back, actually quite a bit back, but uh, I think it was right in that artery area. We definitely have a dead deer. I may have to just let him lay overnight, but I'm gonna go check the arrow here and try to be as quiet as possible. So, so stay tuned. Here we go. All right guys, sun's just cresting down over the mountain there, back in the cabin. Gonna sit back and maybe we'll see another deer come in. Uh, we'll see, maybe a double tonight. I'm gonna let that deer sit overnight because uh, I just, I went down there the area where I shot it and kind of went through the trees just a little bit where it entered the trees. 
and uh, I'm going to let that deer sit overnight because I hit him way back. So um, we'll see what happens in the morning. So it wasn't too long I got back into the cabin and these uh, spikes showed up. I've been seeing these spikes all year. We're just going to wait uh, several years uh, for them, probably three years before we shoot them. Um, hopefully they'll still be around, but uh, they should become nice bucks in time. But then uh, after I after I sat and watched these spikes for a while, I couldn't believe it, but uh, another axis deer showed up. But this axis deer was not near as settled as the other one, so I pulled my bow off and I was trying, just waiting, waiting and waiting to see if he would uh, settle down, but he was just really skittish. And then uh, I pulled back, and uh, you can see what happens right here. <laughs> scared him off. I, I when I was trying to let back down because he moved out of the way or wasn't broadside anymore, I clanged that uh, that metal and he ran off. And so, really, no chance to get him with the uh, bow anymore. Plus, the light was going down. He hung back in the trees for a little while, and so I decided I'd pull out the rifle. Well, <laughs> just too dark for the uh, bow, obviously. Or probably the last little bit of shooting light. But it doesn't matter whether it's shooting light or not because it's an axis deer. You can shoot those at night if you want to. So, uh, two deer down. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Let's go see if we can find the deer, huh? Hopefully we'll find them pretty close. Let's see. All right, guys, we just found the arrow. Well, that's pretty bloody, but that's a, you can tell that's a meat hit. I have not been finding any blood at all. I'm gonna leave this arrow right here so I know where I found the arrow but I think this is going to be a this is probably going to be a GPS job of tracking so we're going to get busy doing that it's about this is about 50 yards from where I shot it other side of this uh, set of trees there but I'm not finding any blood so um, let's get to searching all right guys got a double double I got a double double two deer with uh, two different uh, um, weapons, a bow, my PSE DNA and my Weatherby 30 out 6 with the second one. This one came in first. They're two little does, <coughs> weanling does. Uh, they're not babies. They're not baby whitetail as some have mistaken in an earlier video that I had. But uh, anyways, I shot this one 82 yards. Uh, he ran about 300 yards, shot him uh, back, of course, you can see from the video, and uh, found him in this thick stuff right here back behind me. And if you want a key to finding deer that you shoot back, uh, just go out about 300 yards and, and uh, draw a circle from the point at which you shot it and the direction the deer was running. Um, and generally speaking, you're going to find them within that 300 yard mark because they'll get down, uh, stand up, or lay down and stand up and get out to about that 300 yard mark. And so it was a fairly easy job of finding this one. Found it in about an hour of searching with my GPS. So uh, happy about that for sure. Um, and these 
do, de definitely won't go to waste because we're going to utilize all the meat here. And uh, these are actually the these weanlings are actually the best tasting meat. This axis meat has got to be the greatest. So um, pure, organic, undefiled, uh, range-fed meat. So uh, you get it right here on Indian Food Bow Hunting Journal. Thank you for watching.